something I've noticed as an engineering major myself is that a lot of people don't know what we do. There are some general things that I feel like everyone's agreed that engineering majors do, like taking a lot of math classes, studying a lot, and just overall not knowing what we're doing or why we're doing it. And these are all pretty much true, but I feel like there's so many more things that people don't know about engineering majors. And I feel like I don't even know how to answer the question, what do engineering majors do? So it got me thinking, where is one place, one central location that everyone is getting their information today? And it's clear, TikTok. Well, TikToks that have been re-uploaded to Instagram for reels. Well, as reels and also actually. Does that make sense? <laughs> and lucky for us, there's an Instagram page called engineering.universe that has a robust collection of engineering TikToks. So today we're going to look at some of these TikToks to hopefully get some answers to the question of what do engineering majors do? All right, let's look at the first one. I love TikTok so much. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Let's break it down. We have a STEM major making fun of a business major, and then a business major clapping back by calling the STEM major depressed. And then as a beautiful finale, we have the STEM major letting out a blood curling scream. This is accurate. So far, everything checks out. <laughs> I, I was coming to you guys for answers. Now I'm just like, <laughs> if TikTok doesn't know the answers, then who does? So you know how every engineering major and every engineering professor likes to point at Tony Stark and be like, yeah, oh, that's, that's why we chose engineering. Man, when has Tony Stark ever opened a Google Sheet? When have you seen that guy on Excel? When have you ever seen Tony Stark open an Excel document? Hmm? I guarantee you, Elon Musk does not know how to put multiple lines in one cell. By the way, as for Windows, it's Alt-Enter. I just learned that last week. So yeah, in college, they always point at like rockets and you know, like cool things. And they're like, that's, that's why we're engineers. And we just look at, we just look at numbers all day, man. No, no. For the rest of the time, it's on site with that class. F that class. No hard feelings? No, man. Nothing but hard feelings. Okay, I got a hard on... What's up? Actually, what am I about to say? I don't think any class deserves to be forgiven. Actually, you know what? Engineering majors hold grudges all the time. Because anytime someone younger than you asks you, oh, how is that class? We always tell you the truth. That shit sucked, man. <laughs> no one's ever like, ah, oh, you know what? Being on the other side of it, it wasn't that bad. No, we <laughs> we put that shit six feet under, man. Aw, uh, you look so cute sitting there doing absolutely fucking nothing, bitch! Okay, why do you think professors give us formula sheets? Because they know it's not gonna help us. <laughs> but then when you go to their office hours, they can, you know, throw that in your face and be like, oh, well, you know, I gave you a formula sheet. How'd you get a 37? And it's like, well, I didn't... Even there's nothing to, on there for me to use. That's like someone seeing you sit down with a bowl of cereal and they realize you didn't get a utensil. So they bring you a fork and they're like, here you go. And obviously you're like, what What am I supposed to do with this? But then they're like, oh no, it's about the, it's about the gesture. How's a gesture gonna let me consume cereal, man? Huh? <laughs> it got me stone cold. Okay, we have come across another classic engineering stereotype. Engineering majors have all kind of come together and agreed that civil is the worst. <laughs> so that's what we're seeing there. Okay, are you taking notes? There's gonna be a quiz later, okay? <laughs> I don't even have time for my love life, to see my family. I don't even have time for nothing. I'm working every single day. I'm depressed. I, <laughs> Cheng, I don't, what is that? That was like a, I don't know what that is. Is that, is that like a dating app? Is that like, you know, chegging out other people? Is that, is that what that is? I don't, cheg? Never heard of it. <laughs> I don't, I don't really get that, that talk. 
at TikTok. You know, I don't really know what it means. So um, I guess that's not going to help us figure out <laughs> what engineering majors are like because uh, never heard of Chegg. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, it's a price we're willing to pay. Okay. <laughs> oh, Garb, you should care about your mental health. Hey, who's the engineer here? Okay, who knows best? <laughs> I. <laughs> okay. This. <laughs> yeah. It. <laughs> I have so many pictures of just chalkboards on my phone that I have no intention of going back to. And most of the time you can't even read what they say because professors do that thing where they're like writing on a chalkboard and then they mess up. So they like half erase it with the side of their hand and then just write over it. Like you should be able to understand what that says now. Yeah, you're like looking at the chalkboard and you're like, why did, why did my professor write Elon Musk child's name on the board? And the thing is you have to take the picture because I found a lot of engineering professors don't share their notes. So that's like the only time you can get that information. Oh, Bagar, read the book. Hey, once again, who's the engineer here? Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> Are engineering majors being self-aware about their superiority complex? That makes it like, okay then, right? <laughs> like if you acknowledge that you think you're better than everyone, that's not an issue then, right? I'm good. I'm great. I'm really awesome. I feel great. I'm great. I'm... Pfft. Who's the engineer here? Who's the engineer here? Right? Who's the engineer here? <laughs> right? Okay. Am I right, guys? We're sociopaths because we study a lot. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> where all my sociopaths said, huh? We study so hard, so we are sociopaths? Am I right? Aha, I think I might have a full blown personality disorder just because I study a lot. Hmm. Yeah. I have no idea what that was. I bet this guy doesn't either. <laughs> Let's do this. Can't be that hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Okay, this one I want to walk you through because I feel like it was a little complex. So in the first shot, you know, they're thinking about doing engineering. You know, it's like, oh, can't be that hard. Can't be that hard. And then the second shot, you know, they're doing it and it, it is hard. It's really so hard. they're crying. Yeah, that's... That's pretty much it. She. 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 Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> that was. That was actually kind of funny. <laughs> oh, did I just laugh at TikTok? Holy shit. <laughs> Have you ever been in love? I don't think so. Do you want me to describe it to you? Okay, so we got a little combo here, you know? They first, you know, portray the engineering's hard, and then they catch business majors with a stray. That was, that was a, that was a pretty good one. That was an action-packed talk right there. A little bit of everything, you know? A real crowd pleaser, if I do say so myself.
Yeah, honestly, you don't need to know how to compute any of the math. You just need to know how to put the equations together. And then all the computational processes can be left up to the computer. You know, the reason an engineer made these things. <laughs> Yo, you know the exam that I had yesterday that I was studying all week for? Bro, the whole class failed it. So why are you so happy then? My professor does this all the time that ends up curving the grades anyways. But I mean, you wouldn't know. You're in business, right? Like, you guys don't even do real math. Yo, you know... What? <laughs> Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay, so I knew before even watching these TikToks that engineering majors take a bunch of shots of business majors, but oh my god, <laughs> why are there so many jokes about that? Also, I didn't even realize this until I started editing, but he's straight up wearing a sweatshirt that says, we rise by lifting others, which is probably single-handedly funnier than all of these TikToks combined. I think engineers need to realize none of our ideas will get executed without someone that knows business. We should honestly be extra nice to these people because without their know-how of, you know, the world, any idea we have is useless. Engineering majors come up with these brilliant, genius ideas, but they only make sense to them a lot of the time. A lot of engineering majors, I find, have trouble communicating their genius idea to someone else. And so if an idea only makes sense to you, well then it's not a good idea because then who's it for? Bring the action. We need this in the club. Yeah, and then just for it to be wrong. Or worse, apparently there was an email six hours ago from your professor telling you, oh, we don't have to do that problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know what those three dots are for. <laughs> do I use them? Yeah. A lot, actually. Like probably too much for someone that doesn't know what they mean. I've seen those three dots be used for so much. Some people say it means therefore, some people use it as a reference, like put the three dots there, put the three dots there, and you know, it's kind of acts as a pointer. I've seen some people use it to denote a final answer. I've seen all these different uses, but I think we can all agree, no matter what you use it for, you feel pretty damn smart when you do it. <laughs> and that's truly what engineering is. Doing something you're not really sure about but feeling really smart doing it. <laughs> okay, so by now I feel like you kind of get what engineering majors do, but let's look at one last TikTok that really encapsulates engineering as a whole. Yeah, so because the nut has to travel the full length of the extended male shaft, it's better to use a ball nut because a ball nut is self-lubricating, whereas a standard nut may cause uh, build up of friction and cause binding and you'd have to lubricate it yourself. Uh, and you know, the shaft is 13 inches long, which is it's pretty long for, uh, it's a long ways for a nut to travel down a shaft. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. <laughs> yeah, only on an exam would it be suspicious that an engineering major finished early.